friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to share my August book haul with you. So this is the last book haul of the summer. I got a lot of books this summer, you guys. I did a giant book haul at the beginning of the summer in June. I had a July book haul and here we are at the end of the summer for August. So I definitely got a lot of books. So expect for me to be reading a lot this fall. I really, really hope that's the case. I have more time to read now. So I'm really excited about that. Let's go ahead and jump into all of the books that I got this month. For starters, we're going to start with my Kindle because I definitely did get some ebooks this month. Um, some were ARCs and some I purchased. Um, the first one I got is Lies Behind the Woods by Bradley Cornish. I got this from NetGalley as an ARC. I already have a full review of it on my blog, so I will link my blog down below for you so you can check out that review if you are interested. I ended up DNFing this, so you'll hear more about that in my wrap up. Um, I also got Deadly Waters by Dot Hutchinson, which is the same author who wrote The Butterfly Garden, which I really, really liked. So I'm really looking forward to this one. And I also got If I Disappear by Eliza Jane Brazier, which comes out in January 2021. I also got that from NetGalley, so I will be doing a full review of that when I read it, hopefully very, very soon. Okay, jumping into the books that I got, the first one I wanted to share is The Liar's Wife by Kirsten Modlin. And the author actually reached out and asked if I was interested in this. And guys, I have authors reaching out to me all of the time, and I turn down 90 percent of them but I read the synopsis of this and it sounds so good pa Palmer Lewis married a liar but how deadly are his lies shortly after marrying her soulmate and the birth of their son the lies begin so the author was very kind to reach out to me wrote me a little note signed my book and this is another one that I'm really hoping to read like in September or October just depending how it goes then Atria sent me a finished copy of Anxious People by Frederick Bachman um they sent me an arc either last month or the month before and I never got around to reading it and then this came and I was like okay, I need to read this right away. This is actually just the dust jacket because I am currently reading this. This comes out on September 8th and they also sent like the stuff that came with it was so, so, so cool. It has like this little business card and it has this like real estate like paper and it has like the layout of the apartment. And it also has this um, little promo card that on the back, it has the eight different people that the failed bank robber holds hostage or held hostage. And I've already started reading this. I've read one other Frederick Bachman so I'm hoping to have like a review or some type of video like if I think it's worth for you guys to purchase it when it comes out on September 8th. So look forward to that. But I was just so happy that usually publishers like just send me an ARC. I think this is the first time I've re received the ARC and the finished copy. So I'm just really, really grateful to Atria. Um, so thank you so much. Um, next up, I picked up a library book. I actually finally picked this up today. It's been a whole debacle with my library lately, you guys. I've been waiting for holds for a very long time for my library. Um, then they they were open for curbside and then they opened regular and then they went back to curbside and then they closed down. So they had to do a whole thing with my library and like all of my library books were like scattered all over my city and it's just been a process. I just hope everybody is safe and everything goes fine. But um, I tried to actually cancel my holds um, for my library, but they ended up coming in anyway. And this is one that I was really looking forward to. This is The Sound of Gravel by Ruth Werner. And this is a memoir just about um, her childhood. And I've heard it's really emotional. So she, Ruth Werner, was the 39th of her father's 42 children. And they grow up on a farm in rural Mexico. 
and it just uh, it just sounds like it's gonna be so 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 sad but I'm really looking forward to reading it you guys know I like those kind of like more emotional type reads also this month jumping into the books that I like well I don't know I still have some other miscellaneous books in here so the first book I got this month was the curly girl handbook um I got this because of my library situation. I wanted to just get it for my library, but um, it wasn't coming in in time and I was ready to start the process of the curly girl method on my hair and my hair is looking a little rough today, but let's not talk about it. Um, yeah, and this is the expanded second edition. So yeah, I went ahead and purchased it because it wasn't that much money and I just thought I could like let my friends borrow it and stuff like that. Um, basically, the highlights of this book are figuring out which curl type you have and then your cleansing method for taking care of your specific type of curls, like what hand motions, where you should focus products and so forth really like this it is missing a big chunk where it tells you like the type of products to use or like websites that you can go to to find out but there's lots and lots of information online like just to type in google like curly girl method or look on instagram there's lots and lots of people there that are talking about the products they use but it does have some recipes and stuff like that that you can try out for like at home like touch up things so yeah and I just went ahead and I picked up the shampoo and conditioner and the moisturizing cream and the towel to go along with this so I bought myself like a whole curly girl package and I will probably be talking about this in future vlogs as well I've already touched on it once but I want to go into it more join an online book club and in that book club you can swap for books so I swapped for A Good Marriage by Kimberly McCray Right. This is an author I have read from before, I'm pretty sure, but when this was one of the book of the month picks, I wasn't interested in it because it um, deals with like law firms and stuff like that, but I've heard really good things, so I started being interested in it, so I swapped for that. Um, then my actual book of the month pick was The Night Swim by Megan Golding and I already read this. I really liked it. I rated it four out of five stars, I believe. You'll hear more about this at my wrap up. But also, if you don't want to wait for that, you can watch my Weekend Vibes vlog where I talk about this book. Then on a complete whim, I was challenged to read a hate to love romance book. I had a few in mind, but I was on deadline and and I went to Barnes and Noble and I had to find something that day and read it in 24 hours. I ended up picking up The Trouble with Hating You and I really, really liked this, you guys. I have a full 24 hour readathon vlog coming on September 1st, but you can also hear about this in my wrap up coming soon. Then I went to Target for some reason. I think it was like medication related. I don't really know. Um, but I picked up this comic by Cassandra Callen. I left the house today and I really, really liked this one. Um, they also have a bigger book that I want to get as well, but it's just really funny and really relatable. Um, it seems like the main person in the comic is I don't know if it's based off of the artist but she seems to be like she's not like supermodel skinny or anything she has curly hair and she's short and I don't know it just it's just so so funny um so I highly recommend um you at least see if your library has it um I love the little like reality and expectation pages but they're just short little comics. It's all in black and white. The artwork is really good. You can read this very quickly. I've already read it. You'll hear more about it in my wrap up. And then I was really challenged this month by my book club and they challenged me to read the first and second book in the Outlander series. So I bought Outlander by Diana Gabaldon and then I bought Dragonfly and Ember by Diana Gabaldon and actually my husband ended up going to the store and picking these up for me so I was really grateful for him for that um, but yeah I have these now 
And the last two things I have to show you, if you remember back to the reading rush, which we're not really going to get into all of that because we all know the issues, um, but I did a journal flip through because I did pay the $20 for the journal. And then when I got my journal, I was really excited about it and I wanted to show it to you guys. And then I realized that something was wrong with my journal and I reached out to the hosts and I did not hear anything back from them um, but you guys were constantly telling me to reach out to the company and by the time I by the time I ordered my journal and it actually came to me like the readathon was in a few days so I didn't have time to like wait a month a month and a half to get a new journal to actually use for the readathon so I just made the journal that I received work like for the readathon but I did reach out to the company and um I linked them to my journal flip through um and I don't know what made them you know offer to send me one they were just like I'm so sorry your journal was messed up we're absolutely going to send you out another one so I did receive that today and that was back in July so it took again about a month and a half to get to me so that's why I wasn't too worried about just using what I had um, at the time but I will say that I would have been much happier with the actual version of the journal because it had so many more cool pages in it um, how to participate and things you can do to take part um, it had um, this wasn't mine but it had let's see this page I really would have liked it had like a whole badges page and you could color in the badges as you got them what I would have done is I would have printed out the badges in circles and glued them in here which I still appreciate them like fixing their problem by sending me this new copy but of course this is just gonna sit around unused because it's for 2020 um, and I don't think I'll be participating in the future but it is nice to have since I did pay for it anyway the very last book that I got I'm super excited I actually added this to my wish list the entire series um, to my wish list and then I posted that one to watch spoiler reading vlog so if you missed that I will have that linked for you I really loved that book I loved the fat representation but there were some of you guys out there that didn't agree or didn't enjoy the fat representation in One to Watch by Kate Stame in London and I asked you guys for recommendations for other books and some of you actually recommended this series which has me really really excited about it and the book that I'm talking about is Teach Me by Olivia Dade and this is their um a a there's something about Mary's Burke novel so that's the name of the series and I think they all take place in Marysburg like that's the town and then it follows different couples and I'm just really really excited about it but this one is about um when Martin Krause arrives at Rose Owens High School, she's determined to remain chilly to her new colleague. Unfriendly, maybe, understandable, yes. Since a loathsome administrator gave Rose's beloved world history classes to Martin, knowing it would hurt her. So, yeah, I'm just really, really excited about this. Um, yeah, and if I like this, which I think I'm going to, um, I'll be picking up all of the books in the series. So, Fat representation, teacher romance, like I'm here for it. So I'm really hoping to get to this soon as well. But that wraps up the books that I got in August. Let me know which books you are really excited for me to read and let you know my thoughts on. Let me know the books that you got in August and let me know what your fall plans are. Like what's your most anticipated book for fall and winter? Let me know all of the information down in the comment section down below. I hope you guys are having a lovely day or night and I'll see you guys again in my next video. Bye!